So I just watched a video from BBC that avocados aren't vegan now. Uh, cherries, cucumbers, lettuce, uh, lots and lots of vegan things actually are not strictly vegan. So bad news for millennials, I'm afraid avocado toast is usually not vegan. I'm usually not that fast to hop on trends, but sometimes stuff like that just really f***s me off. And there's a couple reasons why. Most people just don't understand the vegan movement and what we are trying to reach. Now I understand the main premise of the show to find the common enemy and make the viewers feel better about themselves. That's what most talk shows do. But veganism is not about being a saint, it's about doing as much as you possibly can. This reminded me of a story that I once told to a friend which is a very strict vegan, he even was raw once. And I told him a story about me eating at my neighbor's flat. My neighbors are an old couple, they prepared dinner for me and they put some, some spices into the salad which weren't vegan. And I kindly told them that I'm not going to eat the salad because it just didn't feel good morally. And I told them that kindly and they completely understood. And I told this to my friend which is a very strict vegan and he just replied with Shit, I would have eaten it. And this just blew my mind. Just because you go down this vegan path doesn't mean that you have to go around and force feed the veganism into every, every month's mouth. And the fun thing is, even the vegan society doesn't agree with BBC's branding. They're quoting their definition saying vegans avoid animals as far as possible and practical. So do I eat avocados? Yes, you can be sure, I freaking do. Bees pollinate millions of plants and that's why we'd be so freaking f***ed up if they would be going extinct in the near future. Again, veganism is about doing the most good, not zero harm. If we would do absolutely zero harm, we couldn't even live in flats because we would destroy the territory of earthworms and other possible animals. Again, try to do as much good as you possibly can and ignore the haters, because this is just a new ridiculous way to demonize the vegan movement. If you like this video and want to know more about fitness, nutrition, mindset and health, and how these things can help you get the most out of your life, subscribe to this channel.